So here we have some data typical of a cross-core Wallace analysis. It is non-parametric. Um, we can see that actually the small values in this and this column probably mean the variance is not equally distributed. But the non-parametric data is essentially for those data where the median is a better presentation of the actual values than the mean that might be affected by so extreme values. It's also good for small sample sizes and this, although it looks like a decent 10 per sample is relatively small in data analysis terms and also something else that might be ordinal in structure with ranked data across a scale also lends itself to the non-parametric approach. Here we have one, two, three treatments and three or more treatments would be a Kruskal Wallace test instead of the two treatment for the Man Whitney U test or the Wilcoxon for the paired test. So here we have three independent sets of 10. And here we have some rabbits. So these rabbits have been given either a control or two enrichment treatments. So they're given access to a hay net or a play ball. And somebody has counted their social interactions over a two hour observation. So that's all the information we need. So we're going to look if there's any interaction. We're going to look if there's any effect of treatment on the social interaction of these rabbits. So let's look at that in a box plot in GenStat and then an analysis. So first I'm going to copy the data. I'm going to GenStat, open up GenStat. Here for it to go. Spread new from clipboard. Press OK. And there's our data. One, two, three. So as always we first plot the data to see what's going on and we're going to use this plot in our presentation. So here we're going to go for a box plot and then here we've got various arrangements but I'm going to just choose the variates with the control, the hay net and the play ball. And then in options I don't like the graph in a box. I must 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 click box and whisker plot not the schematic because it goes with the title I'm going to give it to later on. And axis here it's good practice to start the lower bound at zero. So I'll click zero, I run that, and there's my box plot. And immediately we can see that although the control and the play ball are fairly similar, the hay net seems to have increased the number of social interactions in our rabbits. And in welfare, that tends to be a good thing. So there's a couple of things missing. We're missing a label here. So if I double click the plot, turns this a slightly tan color but with that there so you can see what's going on um, first thing I want to do then on the y-axis I want to put a title in there so here it's going to be the number of social interactions in a two hour observation observation there we go and if I wanted to change the title fonts I could change it here so I can title font it's in Arial, that's where I'm going to publish my thesis in Arial, that's fine. Size 8, that's okay. It might end up looking a little large on this graph, but we'll see. And press OK. If I press Apply, it puts it there. Okay. So that does look a little bit big. Now I might be rescaling that in Word, so I'll make that slightly smaller. If I go to here, if I make it size 6, I have to type that in, it's not on the menu. It's OK. If I press Apply, that looks a bit tidier. Okay, that's fine. The other thing we can do, um, which I haven't shown people before, but it's quite tidy, is I'm going to look at um, the graph options here. And here in dataset, there's some fairly unintelligible code in there. But all you need to know is box 1, box 2, and box 3 relates to these boxes, boxes, and boxes. And I can make them different colors, which is nice. So here, I I choose box 1 in the drop down list. At the moment it's just indicated by a line so I want to make it a fill and then I can choose a colour. So it's rabbits and grass and playtime. Let's go for lots of green. So there's a nice green colour. Let's make that the green colour. I'm going to apply that. Oh look, it's all gone nice and green. And here I'm going to go to box 2. Let's choose. I have to do fill again. We do it all the same way. Colour. I'm going to make that. Let's make that this green, why not? Here, that's a nice green for hay, and then box three, 
fill again, different colour, this bluey green apply. Okay. And there's our plot. So save and close that. And there we have it, all ready for Word. So here we right click it, copy it, and we take it into Word. It's a nice Word document waiting for us. We'll put the box plot there, and then I put in the appropriate title. So we need our title. So figure one and the data is that the number of social interactions in a two hour observation period performed by ten pens of rabbits on one of three enrichment treatments. Okay, and then open brackets. I need to say what these different things are. So I need to say that the box plot shows medians, quartiles, and the bottom whisker shows the fifth. And the top whisker shows the 95th percentile. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, probably a bit of a gap there, so I'm going to click there in Word Format. I can crop the figure down a bit, so I'm going to crop the bottom of the figure there and perhaps there. Press crop, and there that's a bit tidier. So the figure title that I'll put in bold will just be underneath my graph. So that's nice and tidy. But it's not complete, because although it does look like HayNet is different from the other two treatments, I haven't confirmed it because I haven't done my statistical analysis. So what I need to do is first do the statistical analysis to confirm that these three treatments are different, and then do a post-hoc test to follow up to see where those differences lie. So for the statistical analysis, here we are back in GenStat, and here we have our data set out with the control HayNet and Playball treatments. All our stats are here in the stats menu, stats, statistical tests, and Kruskal Wallace has its own entry here. So I'll click Kruskal Wallace and then I'll put a tick in the ranks box because it's nice to check that data sometimes. Control, go across, HayNet, put it across, Playball, put it across. I run the analysis and just at 19 we go straight to the output and here we can see the overall statistic, the H value is 6.075, and it's been adjusted for ties in GenStat, which is a useful thing for more advanced statistics. Anyway, what we can see here is this, perhaps confusing to some, chi-square probability. Now, the chi-square probability, the Kruskal Wallace is read off a chi-square distribution, so this is your actual p-value for Kruskal Wallace, so don't get confused by that. And this is telling us that it's just significant if our 5% level is our level of significance for this test. Here. And in the mean ranks, we can see the HayNet mean ranks is much different from the mean ranks of the other two. But that's not enough. So we know that there's an overall difference of p-value, so we can go here, or we can go back to our graph, I can insert a little text box here and I can put in my p equals or I could put in p is less than 0 0.05 if I preferred text box I'll make, my, make the text a bit bigger and of course I do not want a line around it. So format, right click, format the shape, go to line, color, go to no line, close. And there I have quite a nice p-value over the graph. But as it is a three sample test, the same with the analysis of variance, we don't actually know where the differences are, although it's fairly straightforward looking at the graph. So we're going to do a post hoc test. So I'm going to go back to GenStat. And the post hoc test is where, let's go back to work for a bit, we test control against the HayNet, 
control against play ball and hay net against play ball in these two sample comparisons, which is fairly standard for our post hoc testing. So our post hoc test for Kruskal Wallace is actually Man Whitney. So I'm going to go to the stats, statistical tests, two sample non parametric tests, and here I'm going to make three comparisons. I'm going to compare control with hay net. And I'm going to run that. And there's our value. So when we compare control with HayNet, there is a significant difference. If I go back to the menu, I'm going to do control against playball. I'm going to run that. And when I look at those ones, the p-value is 0 0.954. So as we suspected from these fairly equal mean ranks, there's no difference between those two. And just to finish off, I'm going to do the hay net against the play ball. Run that. And here, again, that is significant. So, hay net is different from control. Hay net is different from play ball. Control and play ball are not different. So as we look at our graph, we're saying that this is a significant difference, this is a significant difference, but this is not. So there's various ways I could put that on the graph, but essentially um, one good way is simply to use text boxes again, insert text box, and I'm going to use superscripts. So I'm just simply going to write a letter A for this one. Here. Yeah. Make that letter A. We need to make that nice and big. Make it aerial so it matches the others. I'm going to format the shape again. I don't want the line around it here. Those. I'll show you what's happening in a minute. I'm going to put that superscript just here. Off center it. That makes it easy to maneuver. And I'm going to copy and paste that one. So I want another one up here. But this one is not the same. I'm going to make that B. And then I paste another one because that one is the same. So what I'm saying with my superscripts there is that bars with the same superscript are not significantly different and then the bars with different superscripts A and B are significantly different. So I need to write that in at the bottom. Different superscripts indicate a significant difference at p is less than 0 0.05. Oops. And there is our graph all ready to go in our dissertation. Perhaps we could tidy up where the p-value is and where the superscripts are, but all the essential information is there, and it's colourful as well. Thank you for listening.